Hello and welcome back to part two of this amazing coding challenge number seven, I think. So I think it's seven, I'm not sure. Anyway, so so far, if you haven't watched the previous video, do okay, it's recommendable. But if you don't, then don't. If you don't want to, you know, doesn't matter. Anyway, um so in the previous video I said we have different sudokus, we have three functions, but we have actually four, four, five. Um what this is gonna solve is gonna be our recursive and back backtracking algorithm, okay? And um, this one is just to print the sudoku into the the console. Then we have um and three functions. This is gonna return true or false depending if it's a number, the exact same number we're passing on in the same column, square or row, okay? Easy as that. So you understand um what I'm going through is. So uh, this is our little function. So now we're gonna we're gonna be concentrated into solve sudoku. So um as the algorithm says which I have here, it said, okay, our current cell is the first cell in enumeration, okay? So we're gonna check this one, and we're gonna be going this way, and then this way, and then this one, okay? So, we're gonna enter one in the cell, and if it, do, if it, if it doesn't violate the condition, try entering two and three until it, does, it doesn't violate the condition, okay? So, let's do that, okay? How do we do that? Well, that's pretty easy. We have to have, um, we have to have um, uh, an if statement, okay? And this if statement has to say, if um, Sudoku, Sudoku x, y position, okay? Which we're passing on to this is equal to zero. No, actually, no, let's just do first, it's not equal to zero. So what happens if it's not equal to zero? Let's just think for a minute, okay? We have int, we have to, return a value so what we do is we have to say if sudoku is not equal to zero then we have to say okay that means that there's a value already assigned to it so then we have to say solve sudoku oh you know what we could do we could check okay we want to call the function again with the next value so we said here we have three we want to call the function again with the next value how do we check if it's the next value well x has to be plus plus but what happens if it's here? If we do plus plus, it's gonna go into nine, and we didn't have cell number nine, don't we? We want to go here, so we have to have a statement. So we say if x is less than eight, then what do we do? We say x plus plus. That's correct. Else, if let's just say for a second that x is eight, okay. So that doesn't mean it goes, it goes to the else statement. We want to go here. We want to say that x, we want to set x to zero. And we want to say y plus plus. Okay, we want to increment y. Okay, so it goes here. So now that we have that, all we have to say is solve sudoku x, y. Done. There's a little error, as I suppose you've seen, because we're saying we're returning a value and we're not. And we'll deal with the last in a little bit. But for the moment, we just have to, you know, we couldn't really, yeah, we have to deal with that later. But we'll do it later, okay, because oh, it's just quite difficult, okay? Well, anyway, so now, we have that statement. We have, if Sudoku is x and y is less, is not equal to zero. So we could have an else here, but if we want to make it visually appealing, okay? We could do Sudoku x, y. It is, if it is equal to zero, then we have to ask a few questions. We have to say, okay. First of all, we need to check if um, that number, we're passing a number and we're saying one. So that's our number. Um, so we have a function, we have to check if it's in the same column, row, or square. So we have to check if it's not in the same column. So if not in the same square, and we're passing x, y, and number. So if it's not in the same square, And it's not in the same it's not in the same in the same row and it's not in the same column then this means that we can we could we will be able to put the number in there, would we? Okay. So I'll say that again. If it's not in the same square, so if we're trying to put here, we're trying to put one, it's not in the same square, is it? No, it's not. It's in the same row? No, it's not. And is there any number that's same in the column? No, it's not. Then we could be able, we would be able to put one in there. Okay, so uh, same column and x and y. Okay, we have it. Great. Um. So, um. What do we do? 
where we have to put, first of all, we have to put that value into us. How do we do it? Easy peasy. Y is equal to num. Okay, we put the number. But what happens if it isn't? Hmm. Because we're still saying one. So let's just put one and one and one. But imagine we couldn't put one and we had to check two. We have to increment it. And how do we check it? Well, that's very easy. We have to have a while loop. And we say while num is less than 10. Okay, because there's values from 1 to 9. Then we say, uh, ooh. Well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we have to say uh, Sudoku. Jesus. Um, Sudoku xy is equal to num and num plus plus. You know, I'm doing something wrong, am I? Because I'm checking one number and then I'm doing the while. The while loop, am I? Yeah, you know, what I'm doing right now wrong is I'm saying, okay, that number, let's just test one. And if it won't let you, then they do the while loop. The while loop has to go. The while loop has to go before that. Doesn't it? And there's the else. And this is the else. Oh no, what am I doing? Um okay. I'm just really oh, oh Jesus, I hate indentation. No, I love it, I love it, that's the problem. I just love it, love it too much. Okay, so that's a wild one. Okay, so we have a Sudoku and non plus plus. Okay, so if it lets you put it in there and non plus plus. Oh, we have a little problem, don't we? No, actually we don't, no, because we're gonna do non plus plus, don't we? Yeah, we do. But we can do it later. I'll leave it there for a second, okay? So we put the number, and after we put the number, so we can put one, we have to go to the next one. So how do we do it? Copy and paste. Okay, so um, this is getting quite difficult, and I think I'm gonna get stuck uh, soon. So we call the function. So we're gonna go from one, and then we're gonna put here. We're gonna try one. We can't put one. We try two. We can't put two. Okay, we can't. So we're gonna call the next one. This was not gonna let us. So we're gonna call the next one, and that's gonna keep going. But you know, this is a recursive algorithm, but it's not path tracking. Well, actually, no, it's not recursive either. So how do we do it recursive? Well, we have to check. Because imagine we get to a point where we can we test here one two three four five six seven eight nine. What happens? Well, that means that one of the previous numbers we want to go backwards again, and we have to check. Okay, if I if here we had here two, we want to check three, if not four, and then if four fits, we go back here and we try if we can fit any other number. Okay, so that's a backtracking algorithm. Okay, we have to go backwards, change what we did before, and then keep going. Okay, so until we reach the very bottom. So. Instead of just calling the function, we can just check if we call the function. So that's going to return true, is it? So if calling the function x, when you know what else we're doing wrong, we should have int tx is equal to zero and int ty is equal to zero. And that's because that's temporary x and y value because we don't really want to change it in this function. So we can say, um, tx is equal to x plus 1 and um, what do we need to say? Oh yeah, we need to say tx is equal to 0 and ty is equal to y plus 1. Oh, indentation. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I have a big problem with indentation. So, we have this function that we're going to check and I think, oof, no, I'll keep going with this video, okay? Let's just finish this. So, we have, if we solve this Sudoku, yeah, we're trying to solve it. So if we solve Sudoku with the new x value, so with the new x value and the y value, then we have to do something. So we go this function and we say, okay, if we go to this function, we try to do the next one, and if it does, we're gonna return one. So if it does let us, we say return one. If it doesn't let us, what do we do? We can return zero, don't we? But we don't need to return zero here, do we? And do you know why? Because if the next function returns zero, that means that doesn't matter. We need to backtrack. We have to go to the previous cell. And so it gets out of this. I would say, okay, we said here we had in two. What did we? Yeah, because num was two. So we're going to go, we're going to increment num three, and we're going to keep tracking putting numbers here until let us, and then we keep going up. Okay? So we keep going, you know, forward. So um, 
is that all we have to do? Well, we have to have a value where it returns zero. And when does it return? When do we return zero? And we should do the exact same here. So if soft sudoku return one. And if it doesn't solve it, then we have to say here we, we can put return zero. And that's because here we're not we're not trying to check other values because we know that here we can't check the values. That's already that's already put into it. So we return zero. And when we do this if statement, we have to, if this is not equal to zero, we do a while loop. And after we try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, this while loop is gonna say, okay, I need to get out of here. So we're gonna get out of the while loop and then, then we return zero. So if we get out of the while loop, it means that we tried every single number and it means that, you know, no number fits, for example, here. So we need to go backwards and keep trying different numbers and then keep going forward, okay? So it's basically, an animation is going to try to go one, two, three, or it's going to try to go this way, it gets it wrong, it goes backwards, it goes backwards, it fixes it, and then, it, you know, it's, I'll try to find animation and I'll put it afterwards video. So, um, so if we try to run it, I think that should work. We didn't try it at all. Look at our console. Ooh, two errors. So what's the error? Subscript of pointer function type int, int, int. Whew. You know, I thought I was really happy. I don't know what the problem is, to be honest. Um, uh, you know, also, what problem there is? Um, well, first of all, I don't know what the problem is in that one. But the only thing I wanted to say... Oh, yeah, we're not calling... First of all, we're not calling the function here, so we wouldn't be able to see it. We still get the arrows here, solve sudoku, txty. Oh yeah, what am I doing? I'm I'm getting confused here. I'm using, you've probably seen this before, and you probably are killing me right now. X, Y, it's a function, okay, it's not an array. It's just because we have the same number. I should have got rid of the sudoku name there. And also... Don't know what the hell I was doing to be honest. Um, T X T Y is really nice, and nice as you can tell from the shading. I uh, actually I want to get a new camera. Um, I think which is gonna be four K and sixty frames per second, and it's good quality. I think so that'll be good for the videos. So if we run it, yeah. And the other thing is that when we hit this number here, we have to say okay, then return one. That means that we have to we can start. You know we can get out. So how do we say we get out? Well. The way to say it is, if we have two cases, if the number is here, if the number is permanent, or if it's not. So, if it's not permanent, which is here, then we say, if column, no, first of all, we need to say, if x is equal to 8, and y is equal to 8, we return one, okay? If it's not, so we have here, um, if column, no, no, if, wait a minute, equal to ace, and y is equal to ace, okay, I'm just copying and pasting, basically, I could have just, you know, then we're gonna return one, okay? Uh, so that should work, I believe. So what we can do now, we can just try one warning. Yeah, that's grand. An um, infinite loop. You know, it didn't, it printed the first one, but it didn't print the next. So let's see what we can do. We went to an infinite loop, did we? We did. And why is that? Num, num plus plus. Why num is equal to less? We're gonna check. Oh, because the num plus plus, okay, that's because the num plus plus shouldn't be inside here. It should be outside the if statement, okay? So let's try it again. You know, we learn just by mess making mistakes, do we? Oh, look at that. It fitted one, four, and then it stopped here. Hmm. Okay, so I found the mistakes I made, and they're actually really stupid mistakes. So what happened is, basically I had here... Um, x i instead of i j so it wasn't actually checking for a last number and that was a bit weird wasn't it also another mistake i made is that um 
uh, well, that's just to print if there's no solution, okay? So that doesn't really matter. Another thing is that we have to set the value equal to zero. So after we check it, if we're going to return zero, it means that we, we check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if nine doesn't fit, we have to return zero and go backwards to check the previous number, you know? And But we also have to check the value to zero because now we leave it as nine. And if we leave it as nine or, you know, or the number because we're setting it here, then we're checking with that number, you know, and it's a bit confusing, so that's grand. Also, and the other little thing I made is that, um, uh, what was it? Um, no, that was it. And also, like, I was incremented here, I had eight instead of nine, so probably when I was recording that part of the video, you were like all going, like, no, you were just pulling your hair. Anyway, we wait to try it now. Okay. We have two Sorakus, the previous one, and that one is completed, as you can see. And if you want to test another Sudoku, so we want to call this Sudoku and this Sudoku 1, we could do that too. And as you can see, that starts, yeah, and it's completing it as well. And if we were to test this one here instead, which is an empty one, which is, is going to be quite interesting. Oh, look at that. It's putting random... Oh, it's completing it this way first. Okay, so I was doing it wrong. I, I, I want to go this way, but it doesn't really matter. It's putting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3. Oh, look at that. That's quite smart, isn't it? So, um, that's the end of the video, and I hope you kind of quite liked it. I spent like 15 minutes trying to debug it, and I was, like, I was going nuts. So I'm not going to upload that, bit, that part of the video, I think. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos or any kind of like similar videos or you have any kind of um you know you want to, you want me to tell you want me to make another coding challenge and you want you have like a specific topic you want me to do, then please let me know as well. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.